welcome back time for another video this time I uh, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different from what I've tried before I if you remember when I did the X calf um, talking about X calf I showed you uh, this um, 3d art that I did that came it was a it was a free download from design and make um, and it does a tutorial as well, all about um, adding. They're actually these are actually three different components, and it was about uh, making this little plaque. And I was delighted, and I've got big plans to buy quite a lot more of this stuff, but to use it a little bit differently from maybe making signs and stuff. It's perfect for that, but. Um, I had some ideas from that website to make boxes from these uh, components, individual components and make a complete box out of it. I'll explain more now, it's probably not very clear what I'm explaining. But anyway, after I did this video, um, Todd from Design and Make um, got in touch with me and he's actually been a really good support. Um, he actually put the video onto his... Um, design and make website um, just about my experience with this and I'd never been in touch with them before and, and they're not paying me in any way to say what I think about this I would only ever truthfully uh, review anything that I felt was any good anyway he kindly offered um, a free pack um, to use in a video for design in a box so I was delighted got so many ideas from the website I will show you in a minute or two the website and I will put a link in uh, it down below um, so that you can access that it's well worth it very easy to download I'm no genius with a computer I can cut wood on a bandsaw I'm not so great on the computer so with the X-Carve it's all been a massive learning curve but the reason I wanted to why I got the X carve is as I've said before is to put the 3d work into my boxes so when he asked if I would be interested in using the design and make projects to make a box I just jumped at it so <clears throat> I'm going to show you how really where I've got this design from because I've got a design which is in my head and on a piece of paper for a box and it started from, this is a box that I made, um, this is not complete, this box. Obviously as you can see it's in the shape of a tree. That's actually the front end. And at the back end the doors individually open. I wasn't very happy with the particular finish on this one so I never finished this box. But it, it's great for showing you what I mean. These All these boxes actually, so I want any ones that move out there. They actually are individually on each of these pieces here so they're cut to fit onto it and then the glued in place uh, so I had an idea of making a box using a similar design not a tree um, but using a similar design that would be what I call floating boxes so I'm going to go and I'm going to show you the, the project that I picked up and a bit about design and make now and uh, then I shall show you how I started this design. I won't go through the design on because it's um, a spire I have. I won't go through the design on how I made it because it could be all wrong. I haven't cut it yet. This is the piece of wood I've got for cutting the front. It's a bit thick so I'm going to plane it on the X carve before I cut it down. Um, this is the bits for each box I intend to have three of these boxes but I'll explain more later. okay here is the design and make dot com website this is the home page here explaining and showing some of their previous projects I um, managed to find this I was googling one day and looking for free really 3d products and I came across this website then and there's a getting started video here um, which you can watch but you can also download the files if I go down here this is the file from 
bit oh it's a bit shadowed anyway this is the design from the heart project that i made and you can download all these pieces for free it's very easy to download here's what i did for your free v car v car pro and aspire it's the v3m to download to there you can download stl or your png files and once you download it onto the computer where you've got your um your program your vcarve program it automatically puts it into the folder so that when you open it up um you can click i think it's on um clip art and then design and make and under that you'll find the bits i'll show you this um next on the computer but this was a file that i downloaded and then i just followed this video here they also have um, videos on installing your projects and how to make a purchase if uh, you decide that it's not this one that you want. And basically I followed the, the little video and it gives you everything that you need for um, starting off this project. A great little guide. So it took me right through to the tool pass. Really easy to do. It had to be easy for me to get it. So um, definitely check that out. It is a free project. You know, what can you say? You can try it all out, see if it downloads perfectly. And, and if you're not happy, you know, I'm sure you will be, to be honest. I can't see why anybody wouldn't be happy with this website. Okay, I'm going to show you the project shop now. This is all the different packs that they do. There is so many. Um... I mean, there's like your Christmas ones if you're getting ready for Christmas decorations. And it explains exactly all the components in it with your little pack. Like I say, if you go and you follow the heart one first, you'll have a lot more idea about these ones. But anyway, I'm going to go back and show you the one that I chose for this project. And it's the Rose, Rose Tiles Broken Number 1. And there we go. This is the components that you get in it. This is the components that you get in this pack. And I'm going to make the box fronts from this rose here. And I will make it in a floating box. So each one will be individually. An open box so you would just use the rose as the the draw handle to pull out I'll probably raise the rose up a little bit from maybe the start project but you don't you don't need to you could just go straight in put this into your vcarve pro print it out I'm just going to happen to cut it around the edge here but some lovely designs from this project and I did look to see if I could use any of the other clip art here's other people's um, projects, some great stuff people manage to do. So like I say, check it out. Well worth having a look. That's designandmake.com and I'll put the link below. Loads of videos and other people's projects on it. Okay, here's the design idea. Um, I just basically dragged and dropped the rows onto the screen and uh, created a, an outer boundary to the original one. If I go into the 3D view, you'll see how that's looking now there. Um, but before I did this, I actually took this complete design and I actually had three of them so that I could get these outlines here. This is going to be the stem. It's not looking too exciting at the minute, but I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible. Because really, once this one's done, I'll get an idea for how I'll do it the next time. This this box will be one off because I won't complete it the same. You do it the first time and you see how everything fits. And then um, we'll go from there and, and change the design. I would like it to look more like stems, but um, right at the minute, this is how I'm doing it. Uh, the size of the rows from edge to edge here, say, is four 
4.42 inches. Uh, that's the size of it, so it's probably be about that. So that will be the actual size of the outer edge of the box. So really, this is where I went from designing. Now, I'm just going to spin this round a little bit and show you where you find your clip art for the design and make stuff. So you go into the clip art at the bottom. And then I'm going to lift this up a little bit. You go into the design and make. And then you pick which one it was. Well, it was the heart and ribbon and then all the bits come up on there and you just basically pick them up and drag them over and then you rescale the size okay that's a simple explanation so this is going to be the design uh, I just needed to design one of the roses in the end because I will just repeat that tool path three times for each individual one because um, they'll all be individual anyway so the next bit I'm going to go on to now is I'm going to plane the wood down a little bit because it's just over an inch in thickness at the minute. And then we will cut the rose fronts. Um, this uh, tutorial I'm going to do in two or three different videos, so they'll be numbered. Um, and I won't actually upload them until they're all up ready to upload. So, uh, so the first stage really is I've designed the rose and now I need to, the tool paths are all done already. And I'll show you the, the roughing. Let's see if we can see that. Let me show you that. That's the roughing on that. That one done. And then the finishing. That's the finishing done. You can see I've taken it quite a depth because I want the rose to stand out a little bit more. I'm not quite sure what, what it actually was. Probably about a good quarter of an inch anyway. And then I'm the cut for the outline. I'm going to preview that select toolpath. And I've put tabs on it. That's it there. So that will be the box front then cut out. So pretty straightforward. I do that three times over. And then the stem, it's just one cut out that I'm doing on that. And then I'll actually um, shape it myself. I'll use um, a Dremel tool, probably round off the edges on both sides. And uh, we'll see how we go from there. There's no saying that this will be accurate, this cut at the top here. So we might have to deal with that because the actual, this is only just the drawer front. I will then outline it on the box, cut the box out. But depending on how accurate my cut is as to how this will fit in. But we'll adjust that and I'll show you all that as we go along. So that's the first stage done.